Hello everyone. <clears throat> so today uh, I'm going to do some interesting tests. Um, I have pressurized my vessel and I have a very small leak. I gotta kind of take it apart and fix it. But for now, I'm not too worried about it. So here's what I got set up. Um, bear with me on this camera work. I got my argon. It's from a welder I have. Um, a nice bottle of argon. I should have plenty to play with. I don't plan on using it like mad so uh, here's my chamber what I did is I took uh, some copper pipe I had an end fitting stuck it in here to close this off and another one to a valve and then my argon is connected to that alright and my leak is actually back here right here on this right where that tape is kinda sticking out kinda bummed but uh, that's fine I'll pull that back apart now what I got in there you're probably not. Eh, you might be able to see it. Those are magnets. I don't. I can't say it. Alnico. Um, how do you say that? Magnets. They are made of nickel, iron, cobalt, uh, some aluminum, and a few other material. Um, so I've got nickel, iron, and cobalt are my main components in these magnets. Uh, they are still magnetized, and um, that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this. I got this hose pulled pulled off here. And I got this open. So the valve is open, and uh, there was, I did just put some argon in here, so you get to see what it looks like. So I'll go ahead and flip it on. It's very quiet. Uh, oh, and last time, last time I said it's very quiet when I put the lid on, but what was really funny is that uh, it wasn't for you guys, because when I watched it, it was like extremely loud. So, whatever. But here you go. Um, this is a very interesting thing. Um, a question I had was, if you create a spark gap inside of a closed chamber, will it build up pressure? Um, and at the time, I couldn't pressurize test it because I didn't have any air or anything. So now that I've pressurized test it, I know I have a little leak. So this test is kind of sketchy, but check this out. If I turn this on and close this off, um, do you think it'll build up pressure or not? All right, here we go. I'm going to close this valve, maybe, with one hand here wrong way oh it was closed how about that crap anyway all right so watch my gauge I'm gonna turn it on now look at that building up pressure turn it off now and it leaks so the spark gap actually does build up pressure it's about three two now let's see one two probably about three two to three psi the bottom measurements are kind of weird there so there you go it does build up a pressure which was rather interesting all right so i'm going to hook this hose back up all right ah, bear with the camera work all right i'm going to go ahead and fill this with air gone uh you should have this set all right so we're at uh, 40 PSI. I'm going to go ahead and shut this valve off, pull this hose off. All right, it's slowly draining because of that leak, but let's go ahead and flip it on and see what happens. All right, quit, quit sparking. Oh my gosh, that is so much brighter now. It's not a plasma. Wow. That really is a lot brighter. how much it builds pressure. Oh, my camera's going crazy. Oh, it stinks. You can see how much pressure it builds, though. Quite a bit. It is a lot brighter, though, than what it used to be. I used to be able to look at it. You might not be able to hear me talking. I used to be able to look at it, and I can't even do that. So, uh... Anyway, there's the argon. It's definitely a much brighter spark. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. <laughs> uh, it's good stuff, guys. Good stuff. I hear some popping and crackling going on. Sounds weird. It's definitely a lot brighter in there, though. So anyway, 
I was just a quick little pressure test, so I gotta fix that. It really bites. Hook this up again. Here it leaking once it gets up a little high there. It's pretty high pressure. Alright, here we go. It actually does not spark with that much pressure. It quits shut it starts it shuts off on me. That's interesting. I'll let it go down a little bit here. Kind of a way to keep a certain pressure. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a much brighter arc, though. I don't know if you can see that from your perspective. <laughs> that's kind of cool right there. Before something explodes and things go crazy, I'm gonna go release this pressure real quick. Oh, it smells great. Alright, well, that was just a quick little update I thought I'd share with you. By the way, last time I didn't really explain this very well. This is a. Oh, God. Well, there goes that. Hey, I'm glad I got that on camera. <laughs> Well, now we know. Oil-filled capacitors blow up when they're overcharged. <laughs> oh, man, all over my stuff. Check that out. Where'd the end of it go? Oh, there's the end of it. Well, that's why I got my safety glasses on. That was nuts. Let's pull that out of here, shall we? I don't know if this stuff is poisonous or what. Just a little oil. Ah, oh, yeah. Where'd the end of it go? I saw it fall down in here. <laughs> there it is. Let's pick it up. It won't hurt too bad. I was always wondering what was inside of those things. I thought it was my chamber there for a second. So, yeah. That's great. Great news for me. Huh. Well. Oh. <laughs> it went in the wall. Check it out. You see the uh see the white crap on there? Yeah. That's the wall. You can see where the rim hit right there. Ooh, that stinks. Alright. Well, there you go, Russ's mad science laboratory. Um Yeah. Oil-filled capacitors do explode. I'm so glad I got that on camera. I had it off, too. What's up with that? I guess it got hot. Maybe I should try a lower voltage. I might do that. Ew, I hate that stuff. All right, well, that's it. I've been your host, Russ. And, uh, again, if you guys would like to donate towards my, uh, my research and development, uh, you can uh, send money to PayPal. Uh, my email address is rwg. 42985 at AOL.com and that's just uh, something out there in case somebody wants to come along and uh, donate towards this research hey I really appreciate it and if not you know where I stand I'm in the same boat as you all are um, that's it this rest uh, see the uh, um, uh, the description for a list of parts and pieces and things that I need if you can't donate money but you have leftover parts or you don't know somebody that gets a good deal on stuff uh, that list is there for uh, for you guys to look at. Now I'm gonna clean up this mess before it starts eating through all my paperwork. I'm glad I didn't get hit by that. That probably would have went through my gut. <laughs> that is so funny. I gotta show it again. Oh yeah, what a freaking mess! All over my cables. That's not nice. And all over my stuff. Look at that. This is where the end of it hit it. I don't know where the end of it went. Let's look for it real quick. You want to? 
You see all my junk? All I know is it went flying. Hit that box. And went this way. Well, I have no idea where. I'm sure I'll find it in about an hour. Alright, see you guys later.